Minions of Technology, my name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. Today, another uh, watch unboxing, if you will, but admittedly, I did a full unboxing, went back to check my audio, and it was messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just quite, kind of recap a little bit and talk a bit about this watch right here that I'm wearing that is a humongous hockey puck on my wrist right now. Um, this is Konix, Konixto, Konix? Uh, just, just check out the name for yourself there. Let me get that in the light so that you can see it. K-O-N-X-I-D-O, Konixito, con, con, um, whatever the case may be, uh, I found this watch on Facebook Marketplace. Someone was trying to sell it, uh, and I got it for $30 with shipping included. So I knew I knew that this was going to be a cheap watch, but I liked it for its looks. So I decided to get it for that purpose only. Uh, I knew that I was not buying something of value, but it's like, well, I just kind of want to build up my watch collection. I like how it looks. I think it'll look cool. And like I said, it's, it's rather big. Um, there is no specs uh, on, on most of the information on the watch. I'll open up the box here and pull out the spec sheet on it and give you a quick read through um, and give you some of the knowledge that I've learned as I've looked it up. Um, here is the logo for it, if you're curious. K-O-N-X-I-D-O, -O, anytime, anyway, right there. And so let's go ahead and open this case up. Nice little case here, by the way. Foam right there on the top there, nice little foam insert. Uh, here's the pillow that it came on. I have it upside down at the moment, but it comes with a set of instructions here. This watch does date and time, uh, and there's the manual. And right here, if I can block my face to get this in focus, 6335 model KX 6335 is the one to look up. If you look it up anywhere on the internet right now, it will call up, come up null and void. It will show up on Amazon, but no products sold. 30 day money back guarantee in this situation. Here's some of the specs on this little guy. While we're talking about it, by the way, let me go ahead and take it off and put it under the zoom camera so you can get a close look at it on the table in front of me here. So this is just a normal, good old fashioned buckle. Uh, looks like real leather, um, real difficult leather to work with. Maybe it'll take a little while to wear it in. Um, but yes, uh, it seems to have what looks to be real leather. Let's go ahead and switch over to our other camera view here. Uh, so that you can get a better view of it here in the top-down view. So pull it in here into the shot here, and there it is. Uh, date and time uh, on this watch here, and if you want to zoom in a little closer to the dial, we can get you a tiny bit closer as I give you some of the specs on it here. So the model number KX6335, uh, excuse me, dyslexia kicked in there a little bit. The module thickness is 12.9 millimeter. That actually comes out to about a half an inch. Uh, <laughs> the watch mechanism is the PC32-3. I looked it up. It's actually only about a seven or eight dollar uh, um, module that goes in there. And when I say watch mechanism or watch module, I'm, I'm talking about the movement or the motor, if you will. It is, uh, it is quartz. Um, the water resistance is three meters. It says basically you can wash your hands and get a little rainwater on it. Otherwise, don't do anything else with it. Don't try and get it wet or anything like that. The strap is supposed to be genuine leather. The strap measures at 75 millimeters at 125 millimeters. Uh, the watch case is mineral glass. Now, immediately I got a little concerned because I'm like, okay, what is mineral glass? When I looked up what mineral glass is, they actually call it a mineral crystal, okay? Um, very scratch resistant. Um, not perfect, but very scratch resistant. So it's not just a glass. It is crystal for the most part. Uh, now, it is a flat crystal across the top, unlike my Belovas that I enjoy wearing that have a domed crystal on the top. Uh, the watch case dimension reads out at 47.5 millimeters. Um, and I actually measured it with my calipers and I got like 46.6. Uh, and it's just huge. It's a great big watch. The buckle back is stainless steel and the battery life at 90% uh, when you put in a new battery is roughly about, um, as far as I can tell, about a year that you can expect it to go. Now it does seem, if we turn the watch over backwards here and uh, lay it down on the surface here, you can see some of the details on it here. It does look like it's a twist off back, um, even though admittedly I see this little tabby thing right here, so maybe it is a pop-up. Nope, oh, that is definitely a pop-up uh, off the back, so it isn't a twist up, uh, twist off. But as you can see, water resistant, uh, and not much information on this. In doing a little bit of research on this watch, um, I could not find a website for this company. 
uh, I could not find any kind of real details on this watch. Um, it seems everything that I've looked up, first off, brings up a bunch of uh, uh, Asian websites or brings up Amazon and brings up this product specifically only on Amazon. So it seems like a product that was made mainly for Amazon, which is basically what you could expect for uh, a watch of this value. So when I go and I look at watches from the same brand uh, and everything, they all run about 30 bucks, $29.99, 30 bucks, things of that nature. Um, and this is just one of the bunch. So you're only buying this watch for its looks. Uh, when it comes down to it, it's very light, even for uh, being this kind of, let me go ahead and switch back here. It's very light, even for being such a large hockey puck. I mean, it is incredibly thick. Uh, on your wrist, uh, you know, and so uh, rather light, not terribly so, but definitely light. Um, and the band is just, just in that form. <laughs> it doesn't move very much. It feels like leather. It says genuine leather on it, but I mean, it, 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 and though it feels like it, it also just feels really, really stiff. You know, almost like a gun belt, if you will. It's very, very stiff doesn't want to collapse in the hands if I press against it here, which is good, but at the same time, it just doesn't quite feel that ultimate quality, if you will. Uh, now, the thing I do notice is that it's very easy to smudge up the crystal uh, and get that smudged up with fingerprints, and when you're done with that, you're going to be cleaning it a lot to get off those fingerprints. Not to mention, you're working with such a ginormous piece of glass on that hockey puck. I, I, I have to call it a hockey puck. It's just so big. Um, it, it sits on the, I mean, it seems to sit fine on the wrist. I, I still like it. I still like it. I was, I was not expecting much from this watch because it just, it's one of those things I knew I was buying it for its style. It's big, it's bulky, and, and it definitely looks like I'm about to shoot some kind of superpower magic trick out of the front of it, like pew, you know, whatever the case may be. It stands off pretty tall off of your wrist. I sent two pictures to my wife and I'm like, hey, it looks worse in pictures than it does on video or in person. So it you are getting this simply for the for the look. You know, now if you're a person who's trying to match up clothes and things like that, I'm trying to do that more because I'm getting on YouTube more. We're getting more views. I'm trying to bling up a little bit, if you will. Uh, I can see myself wearing this if I'm reviewing something a bit more rugged or if we're, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to fit the, the personality of my YouTube channel a little bit better. And uh, you know what? I got to admit that between that one here and my beautiful Belova uh, 96A120 uh, that my wife bought me, I'll probably wear this one. Uh, but at the same point in time, it's a fun watch that just stands out. It definitely, um, it's not an eyesore, it's just big. <laughs> and it's gonna be great for guys with big wrists. Um, it's got plenty of, uh, plenty of holes for guys with very big wrists, but yeah. That's the general gist of this watch. So if you're looking at it, um, I would include a link in the description below because I, I definitely want to send you to my affiliate link and my affiliate code. Uh, but when it comes down to it, they're not selling this watch specifically anymore. Uh, but uh, they have plenty of other ones under the same brand. If you want that, that, that same brand, if you like the kind of style that you see on there, they got plenty from this brand on Amazon. You can go look it up and check it out um, and see if there's any that meet your desires. When it comes down to it, I can't afford big fancy luxury watches. I can't. If I get anything, it will probably be through Facebook Marketplace and someone who just found it didn't quite fit them or they thought, well, I thought that watch face was going to be a whole lot smaller than that or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, and they must have just bought it because it still literally had the protection plate on the back of the, of the, uh, watch and it had QC codes on there and quality control codes and even had uh, the little the little card hanging off of it. So this person got it, immediately didn't like it and immediately put it up and listed it for sale again at the price they paid for it. So they got exactly uh, they got exactly back what they were uh, what they had lost in the purchase on Amazon. but uh, you know what at the same point in time, I don't mind it. I'm not gonna judge it. I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty interested in it and it'll be a fun watch to wear around. you know it's big it's it makes a statement and that's one of the things I was interested in having. So that'll do it for this review. I just wanted to give you guys a little little show and tell. I don't have any knowledge about watches. I really don't. Uh, the one thing I know is that I'm learning to really enjoy them. On the other screen right over here that you can't see, I have producer Michael up there right now. This is a guy who collects amazing watches in the 
tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars to millions of dollars um, on some of these watches that he's collecting, and they're beautiful. I obviously will never be able to afford that, but um, that doesn't mean I can't enjoy the hobby, can't enjoy collecting some beautiful stuff as well. And you know what? Considering that there's a lot of wonderful people uh, selling their old vintage watches, which I love vintage watches, uh, it just it, it's a good opportunity to have some fun and get something beautiful and something that you'll never forget. So that's my take on it. Uh, if you are a watch person who knows your way around watches like crazy, uh, more than happy to hear your viewpoint down below. Please do not judge me. I am not trying to offer any knowledge in this situation. I'm simply showing you what I've picked up and the stupid reasons why I've picked them up. Um, and as I learn more about them as time moves on, then I'll be happy to share knowledge. But I think that's a long ways down the road and I'm just enjoying the experience for right now. That's going to do it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and hang this guy up on my little uh, key bracket of uh, watches that I have over here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. More YouTube videos coming, folks. God bless you. We love you so much. Thanks for hanging out with me here on Legacy Studio. Keep it crispy, guys. You know I say that every single time. First Tim, 412. We'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Bye.